Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me in this video. In this particular video, I want to talk about how can we crack interviews. Though this particular video is about uh, all the technical interviews, but we would also concentrate on Pega developer interviews. Okay, so I think we can get started. So coming to the first point is uh, we should be knowing about the basics of the technology we are interviewing for. So if you are for a Pega developer interview, you should know everything about like classes, different kind of properties and all the basic stuff, right? So uh, what we do is we start, the interviewer starts to understand whether the person, whether the candidate knows the basics. So uh, in that way, they will understand whether they have actually uh, uh, worked on any application or is this a fake profile? So it is very, very important that you know basics of of the technology you are interviewing for. So uh, coming to Pega, please and please learn about classes, tables, properties and different other rule types we have in Pega, right? Circumstancing, even those things are really uh, important for you to crack the interviews. So that was the first point. Coming to the second point is you should be having the practical knowledge about the subject, right? So, uh, interview always wants someone who has done uh, who has done something on his own or either in any project or the application for any company. So, it is very important that you have the practical knowledge. Suppose you have just done the certification, and uh, theory wise you are very good, but practical wise you have not explored anything. So you would be caught there in the interview. So it is very, very important that uh, you have the practical knowledge. So after you complete the certification also, uh, install the personal edition in your desktop and please explore different rule types, create your own application, create different kind of data modeling, basic class structures. In that way, you will get a hands-on. And uh, when you get a hands-on, it would be easier for you to crack the interviews because interviewer will uh, definitely uh, focus on those areas. Uh, so this was the second point. Coming to the third point is communication is the key. So it is very, very important that you communicate effectively. You communicate whatever saying about, right? So your solution should be uh, crisp and easily understandable. Interviewer, uh, normally they are very busy person. So they take interviews, maybe four, five interviews in a day, uh, along with their normal daily work. So it is very, very important uh, that you do not take much uh, of their time. So yeah, whatever the question is, please uh, just give the answer in the crisp way, okay? So that uh, they would be also surprised and uh, you might get uh, hired. So communication is the key. And uh, when you compare a candidate who has uh, average uh, skills, but a very uh, good communication skills, he always gets preferred over someone who has a very good technical skills, but he cannot express what he's uh, trying to say. So very, very important communication, work on it. If you're someone uh, uh, who has not communicated with their, your uh, different uh, clients, stakeholders, so you might not be that much efficient in communicating, but please and please uh, work on it. Uh, uh, in front of mirror, you should practice whatever you want, it, want to say in an interview. So be prepared. Uh, because uh, that will, uh, you know, help you in a long run. Coming to the fourth point, uh, attitude. Uh, attitude matters a lot. So I have seen um, many teammates. Uh, they are suffering because they have someone in their team whose attitude is actually that bad that it is, you know, uh, very bad for the whole team. It, it the team, uh, team could not bear it, right? So it is very, very important. Your attitude is good. Attitude, uh, when, when I say attitude, it means that uh, how you, you're talking to a person, um, you know, how much uh, team, uh, you know, team leadership you have, uh, how uh, team player you are, all those things matter. 
so it is very very important that you work on your attitude uh, uh, you know uh, even your ethical skills come into picture so be very proficient in that you know sometime in a project you might be faced with a certain problems where you might have two uh, ways to go two solution but you have to understand which solution is uh, good for me as well as the team as well as the project so for that reason you have to uh, work on your attitude from the very beginning uh, so even if you are fresher like suppose if you are a fresher then it is very very important for you because you have a long uh, uh, time and uh, your projects will show you what you have to do and what you don't have to do but uh, very important work on your attitude uh, it will help you in the long run too so that was uh, the important uh, factors which i have seen uh, a very very important in an interview even when i'm taking an interview or when i am giving an interview uh, these uh, important factors uh, make you you know win or lose a game uh, so this was my personal experience uh, please let me know uh, if you want to uh, make me video on some specific topics about the interview or anything uh, please do comment and i would be waiting for your feedback thank you so much i will be coming next again with a new set of video please uh, keep watching and subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel thank you so much for watching me today see ya see you next time bye